Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and for today's video I am going to share one more team in the I believe the second team in the summer cup which in which I am going to try out the new uh, Cradily with rock slide in the summer cup which is actually a very strong pick in this meta because it counters water ground flying and ice with uh, grass knot and uh, rock slide along with which it does neutralize all the grass weaknesses such as poison, bug, ice, flying as well and normal is also resisted over here. That is why how strong this pick is uh, for this uh, summer cup over here because grass knot hits very hard and rock slide is such a good move that you guys already know. And in comparison to the Stone Edge, which was actually a good move as well, but since uh, Ice type move is actually a kind of coverage move, so rather than Stone Edge, Rock Slide uh, is a bit more consistent and cheaper. That is why it is better, what I feel. And in some situations, it will work out uh, really better than Stone Edge as well. To which, to cover the weakness of bug, ice, flying and fighting, I'm going to use a perfect coverage for it which is going to be my Toxapex which is really bulky and does have fast move pressure as well because my main motive over here is to take out the shields from my opponent's end with Credilia and Toxapex over here because my closure over here is going to be Shadow Zapdos in this scenario which is super strong and with shields down there is no way of stopping a Shadow Zapdos in this meta that's how Shadow Zapdos is over here and that is the core strategy that I am going to use out with this team in this video over here so without further more delay let's quickly jump into the first battle and check out how this team performed moving into the first battle I pick up a lead against uh, a bad lead uh, of Vigoroth over here but nevertheless I will be quickly safe swapping out into my own Toxapex that can take in this body slam very uh, very uh, effectively and now I lured out a potential counter to my Zapdos as well which is going to be my, uh, their own lantern so lantern they will not actually build up to uh, a thunderbolt that is the reason I will not shield and I will be going for a CMP tie on the next move which again is going to be a surf which is resisted and how bulky Toxopex is it does not do any damage uh, it, it does not do uh, a bit of it does do a bit of damage to over here and I draw out the first shield from my opponent's end with the next sludge wave which is huge because now I will let this next charge move go through and uh, I'll, I'll let them take my Toxapex out because now I can easily come back with my Cradily and farm of extra energy over here to which again they safe swap into their own Vigoroth which to which I'll be safe swapping into my own Zapdos over here because Zapdos with energy advantage not energy advantage energy or maybe shield advantage is there is no way of stopping it to which now i'll be going for the first uh, drill pack over here that does get the shield which i am fine with and now i'll be shielding up the next move as well because how classic glassy zapdos is that is the reason it needs shield advantage to which now i'll be going for the next drill run that I'll undercharge because I want to farm this Vigoroth down which is really good because now I have I'm having again energy advantage for whatever they comes back in with and the final Pokemon they have access to is going to be the Trevenant which will actually not like this drill pack coming in that just vanquishes the Trevenant over here and from this kind of range I will be able to reach to the next Thunderbolt before they can go for the next surf to take me out and this will be enough to get the knockout for this bulky lantern as well getting the win for the first battle over here that's huge so Zapdos are sweeping out the first team over here moving to the next matchup I pick up a lead against uh, Dunspass over here so Dunspass is actually uh, a core breaker for my backline over here of Toxapex and Zapdos over in the scenario to which I will be going for the first uh, Grass Knot over here to deal a bit of damage in this scenario and uh, I'll recommend you guys to always go for Grass Knot over here because it does a bit of extra damage and in neutral situations it really hit hard because a Rock Slide is kind of a coverage move for whatever uh, Credily is actually weak to that is the reason you have to always go for 
grass knots over here so i think my opponent just lacked a bit over here which i think uh, my credit does score break their backline as well to which they just concede the match over here giving me the win for the second battle so i'll not consider it but fine moving into the next match uh, i pick up a lead against credeli over here so credeli is actually a kind of a troublesome thing for uh, my whole team but somehow i have to manage this out to which now they save saps into their own i think a regional pokemon i i forgot his name is uh, yeah it's a hera cross over here and i did the mistake over here in this scenario because i threw my rock slide which they caught they debuffed me and i went for the rock slide onto their hera cross because now they will be going for the mega horn which does not hits me hard but from this kind of range i cannot actually farm them down until and unless they went for the next move which i believe is going to be a rock blast as i was counting over here which does put my uh toxic really low and i actually remember this game now because i threw it through it uh myself throwing that rock slide is actually going to be very very costly for me because i'll be going for back to back brines over here getting one shield but it will not be enough because they have so much energy on to their own galvantula right now so i can eventually uh, give up one shield and go for the next rock slide but they will again debuff me and this knock in one more volt switch as well which is not very uh good from uh my end because they can farm me down uh, or maybe they will try to catch one move which they do and the final pokemon they have access to is actually going to be their own crusel which i think my zapdos will not be able to handle because as you guys can see this uh this smackdowns are just chunking so much in uh, so much health from my Zap zapdos over here and nevertheless i uh i went for the next trill pack which will eventually get the knockout for this crusel but i think they have loaded galvantula in the back which i was uh, correct about because now they will be going for the next discharge to get my zapdos out and my galf and my cradle is very low and it will get down with this uh, volt switch over here as well so really well played from my opponent and, and Moving on to the next matchup, I pick up a lead against Credeli over here. So Credeli mirror matchup is kind of tricky. So what I have to do, what I tend to do over here is to uh, go for extra fast move sneak in, and I'll be going for the first grass knot. So if it land, I will be going for my own shield next time because it's a CMB tie over here. It's it's fine. So I'll be going for my first shield, and I'll be going for the next grass knot as well. So if they're shielding it up, I'll be trying to catch the next move onto my Toxapex, which ends up which will be uh, huge because their energy is wasted and Toxapex is bulky. So it will not hit too hard that I can easily survive. Yeah, I can survive anything over here, and the end I actually beat out their flying. Uh, electric type as well which is going to be the emolga over here which also have got buffed because earlier it was having access to discharge thunderbolt and aerial ace but now with aerial ace it have got access to acrobatics as well which is huge because acrobatics hits very hard and emolga is kind of bulky as well to which now uh, they went for a discharge to take out my toxapex and i'll be quickly coming back with my own credily and get the f uh, final shield from my opponent's end which is huge because now they will be going for the acrobatics and it puts me in a perfect farm down range for my zapdos onto this emolga over here which is nice because i will be, i will be shielding up this next discharge and i'll be farming this whole emolga down with so much energy and let's see what they comes back in with so they comes back in with their knock towel which will which will not appreciate this shadow thunderbolt coming from a attack with pokemon like zapdos that just one shot the knock towel over here and now they comes back with their own credily which will actually not appreciate this drill pick either that takes it out and i do get the game over here which is huge so zapdos is just sweeping teams over here moving to the next matchup i pick up a lead against uh whiskash over here so whiskash is actually tough it's not tough it's actually tricky because 
I have to correctly shield up the blizzards. That's what it's important because until and unless I am shielding up blizzard, this game will be lost. To which I will be shielding up the first move, which ends up being a blizzard, and they save saps into their own uh, grass type counter, which ends up being a Venusaur. So Venusaur will be going for this neutral frenzy plants which I will survive eventually with Toxapex and I will be going for the next sludge wave of my own. So if they want to shield they can shield it which I want but they will be letting this next charge move go through because they will be coming back with their Whiskash to get a huge lot of farm onto my Toxapex but nevertheless they will be going for the Mud Bomb which I believe will not be enough to get the knockout. Uh, but yeah. No, it does get the knockout for me and now I, I will just wait out the switch clock and I'll be easily coming back with my uh, own Cradley to get a hit on energy. To which now I'll be going for the next grass knot which I think will be enough to get the knockout but the shield over here which is what I wanted because now I can uh, shield this move off as well and I'll be going for a hard farm down because whatever they comes back in with they cannot reach to the next blizzard over here so it's just a mud bomb so I will be able to survive this as well and let's see what the final Pokemon they have got access to it's going to be a Talon Flame to which it will just face off a rock slide over here that just one shots the Talon Flame over here getting the yeah, getting the win almost because they have, I believe they have left the game because they comes back with their very low risk cash. I go for the bullet seat down and I get the win for this battle here as well. So that's a huge game and GG's. Moving, moving to the next match over here, I pick up a lead against Jira Farig. So Jira Farig, uh, Jira Farig is actually kind of tricky once again because it have got access to uh, psychic fangs that will eventually debuff my defense for both uh, and it is it, and it's super effective for my Toxopex as well to which I will be going uh, for uh, I'll be going to switch out into my Toxopex to uh, lure out this potential counter might be a mud boy or might be a flying uh, or might be an electric type user to which now I will be letting this charge move go through as well because I can survive this mud bomb uh, very safely over here and I will be going for this back-to-back -back Brine which hits for neutral damage to get a bit of chip onto this incoming Whiskash over here. So if I can put this Whiskash quite low, I will be trying to get a farm down onto um, uh, with my Cradley over here. To which now, I think they'll be going for a hard farm down over here which will they, which they'll get eventually and now it's going to be tough because they have so much energy they can actually go for a blizzard or a mud bomb bait which i do not call i went for the shield and they went for the mud bomb which is definitely going to be really tough for me right now because without shield advantage zapdos is not looking too good to which now i'll be going uh with my credibly uh with this grass knot over here onto this incoming Girafarig over here and I do get the shield. Though I get the shield, I did a vital mistake over here because I ended up shielding the first Psychic Fangs which is not great because when your defense is lowered, you should be going for the next one. That is the reason I will be going for the next drill pick for the incoming uh, Shadow Marowak over here uh, because they switched out into that and I will be going for the next back-to-back -back drill packs over here and I believe they have a bit of energy onto their onto their uh, Girafarig as well which I was correct about and they'll be going for the next Psychic Fangs which does get the knockout for my Zapdos over here and they can double kick my Cradley down and I concede the match over here. So that's a good game from my opponent's end, well played. Moving into the next matchup, I pick up a lead against uh, Shadow Walden over here which is a uh, kind of scary as well because it does have a potential to core break my whole team but nevertheless since I have got so much bulk so much coverage with this team I can go for one rock slide that hits for so much damage over here and I can easily come back with my own Toxapex to get the knock to get the farm down actually onto this bulky 
uh, or to this volume over here to which now they say they comes back with their own uh, shadow swamp out over here which is really nice because my zapdos is actually avoiding it, avoiding it to which i'll be trying to shield this first move up because it eventually will be an earthquake which i am fine with because i want this swamper to burn their shield down because with shields down that's what my zapdos wants in the closure game so i do get the force shield from my opponent's end and now i have i have to let this next earthquake go through i'll just sack my toxapex down over here and i'll be coming back with my uh Readily, I believe to get a bit of extra farm over here to which now they comes back with their final Pokemon which ends up being a Taron flame over here which I am fine with because their uh, Swampert is energy dry right now and I can easily go for back to back drill picks over here to get uh, the, the final shield and to get the knockout for their on flame as well and apart from that i can again go for the farm down on two yeah once the talent flame is down i can easily get the farm down or maybe i can reach to the next drill pack as well which is going to be a cmp type which i win uh, obviously because it's a shadow zapdos and i get the knockout for the swamp pot eventually getting the win for the battle here as well ggs Moving on to the next battle, I pick up a lead against Dunspurs once again. So as I've already mentioned, Dunspurs can be a core breaker for both of my Pokemon in the backline. So what, what I have to do, I have to go for uh, this neutral uh, Grass Knots over here to potentially actually put it down uh, so low that I can come back with my Toxapex to get a farm down or maybe if I can get a hit on energy I might shield up the, the incoming drill run over here to get uh, to, to draw to draw out the final the, the first shield uh, so that they are forced to shield over here so now I'll be going for the next grass knot after shielding up one uh, drill run over here and now since it did not shield I will be going for the farm down over here with bullet seed which is huge because now they comes back in with their uh, Vigoroth over here and for Vigoroth I do have a really good answer onto my back which is going to be my Toxopex over here. So Toxopex can easily handle a Vigoroth over here and with uh, and with actually Vigoroth was quite low over here and it can easily handle this uh, easily handle this bulldoze which is actually a crappy move but it is coming from a Vigoroth so it does not uh, concerns me a lot and they'll be now going to switch back into their Noctowl to which I'll be going for the first blind over here. So first blind, so I went for a blind because I thought they'll be shielding up but they call it over here which is not very likely because I have to now go for the sludge wave to draw out the final shield, the first shield actually from my opponent's end which is kind of uh, tricky once again because now I have to come back with my credily go for one bullet seed and go for the next rock slide that does get the final shield away from this uh, this knock towel over here and I have to shield this next move up because if it's going to be a shadow ball it will be lethal so I have to let this first I have to shield up this first one and they cannot actually store a sky attack and shadow ball so they have to go for a sky attack which is not enough to get the knockout for me and now i'll be going for the next sky attack of my own so sky attack will be taking care of this zapdos over here and the next uh not sky attack the drill run drill pick from the zapdos and now i'll be going for the next drill pick of my own onto this very low vigoroth getting the win for the second last battle here as well so ggs Moving into the final battle of the video and the set as well. So I pick up a lead of Calvantula. So I have to be very careful now. So I have to potentially uh, potentially uh, hold my energy rather than the previous match which I have lost, which I have just thrown it away. So now I'll be going for the next, the first rock slide that 
does draws out the first shield from my opponent's end which is nice and now i'll be going for the next rock slide of my own and since i am a credily they cannot farm me down with discharge so they have to throw and i will be letting this next charge move go through because i want shield advantage onto my zapdos over here and now i can easily come back which i was referring earlier i can easily come back with my uh, toxapex and get iron energy to uh, whatever they have in the back line so the final pokemon that this the not the final pokemon the second pokemon that they have access to is going to be a lantern to which i will be not shielding up the first move and it ends up being a thunderbolt which makes sense because they will be going for the thunderbolt over here and from this kind of range they will be going for the next surf to get the knockout for for me but i'll i'll not shield this up as well because i will be saving up the shield for my closer over here which is going to be zapdos so zapdos with energy advantage and or shield advantage is very lethal closer over here so you guys will see over here so i'll be going for the first drill pick that lands onto this vigoroth over here doing a good amount of chunk but i have to throw for, throw the next drill pick as well before they could reach to the next body slam so i'll be going for the next drill pick that will draw the final shield and i am able to go for the next drill pick as well on the cmb tie and saving up the shield for the next incoming lantern over here so lantern will be able to gauge to the next move but nevertheless i again win cmp tie onto this lantern over here getting to the next drill pack over here getting the knockout for this very low lantern and getting the win for the final battle of the video and this set over here so i hope you guys have already seen this how good closer zapdos is and that is the reason i have used credily over here and toxopex for a good pairing of a team because i want the shields to be down so i hope you like this video and the team and if you are trying out this team do let me know how it is working out for you and thanks for watching and hanging out with me see you again in the next one till then peace